Is this like a cardinal sin? Wearing a white tone with a yellow tone? Wearing silver with yellow gold. Wearing stainless steel with yellow gold. That contrasts in colors. Is it looked down upon? Or a society transitioned into a new thought process and a new way of thinking that we can combine a silver bracelet with a gold watch and ring? Or a yellow gold chain with a sterling silver chain or stainless steel chain? Can the contrast in metal colors work out? And in really thinking about it and putting this concept together, because this is a question that I get asked a lot. I decided to show some examples. Well, let's roll my motherfucking music so we can see if stainless steel watches can be worn with gold chains and gold bracelets. I'm kind of a big deal. My beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. This is just a contrast in itself and not one that you would see often. It's kind of reversed. I have a silver bracelet with a gold tone watch and a gold ring. I also have a gold chain with a silver chain double stacked that same length. Are these doable? Is this a fashion no-no? Because back in the day, that was looked upon a little awkward. The most common and popular combination is something like this. A stainless steel watch with a gold bracelet and a gold ring. That's actually usually common for dudes. Why? Because you would have the wedding ring on your hand if you are married. Most dudes don't really do yellow gold wedding rings nowadays. It's mostly now in their white gold or, or sometimes doing something fun like a tungsten. But classically, it's stainless steel watch, gold ring, gold bracelet and gold chain. This is more of the common thing that we see nowadays where people feel uncomfortable or undecided on how this particular style would look. Now, I'm used to this type of style. It's all about preference. But back in the day when men used to dress like men, I mean, dudes put on zoot suits to go to the bodega. Everybody was in some sort of sports coat, pleated pants, dress pants cuffed, shoes were polished, long coats, brim hats. Gentlemen were true gentlemen. Nowadays, dudes are concerned with what nail polish color Bad Bunny's wearing so they can go to the Asian lady and have the same nails painted. Do as you please. So nowadays, Dudes is doing shit as backwards, so does it really matter? To some, yes. Some dudes still have that classical vibe or something that maybe it's instilled in them that their dad or grandfather passed down to them that like, yo, you don't wear two different tones because it just looks off. So I decided to show you guys some examples and give you my thoughts on how to particularly wear these pieces and you make the ultimate decision. So here we have the standard look, the very safe look, the stainless steel watch with the sterling silver bracelet easy combination to wear. Obviously they go hand in hand. There is no contrast in color here. And this is pretty much a traditional style look. Very clean, very straightforward, but also muted in color. Here the watch adds a little bit of dimension and color, but it's pretty much a safe bet. Now in this particular look, we have the stainless steel watch with a gold nail bracelet. 14 karat gold versus stainless steel, a very beautiful look very simple and since the small gold piece it doesn't really stand out too much making it very wearable providing no real annoying contrast of color however this look with the stainless steel watch and the gold nail bracelet on the same wrist uh, some people rock it off me personally i don't think it goes too well at least with this particular combination with a sport watch and a nail bracelet it's just a little too gaudy now this is kind of like my daily wear a stainless steel watch with a gold Cuban bracelet. This bracelet is a little bit on the thicker side. This one's 13 millimeters, but it blends well. Although there's a contrast in color, it doesn't feel off-putting, and I have no chain on in this particular picture, so it just keeps it a cool, smooth look, and really just kind of what I'm used to. So I think a lot of people can pull it off. Now again, now we're doing the same contrast only with the gold ring. Now that can throw some people off, especially if the ring is a little loud like this Cuban ring. So the ring and watch by itself is good. The ring, watch, and bracelet might be a little much, but if you switch it over to the other side, maybe it can help offset that balance and that color contrast. What do you think? Now this next look, I call it the soprano look, the gold on gold. Clearly this is going to flow, but it, you know, it, it is loud, it stands out. And if you wanna be discreet and low key, this is not the look, like this is definitely gonna pop off, but obviously there's a synergy in color. It looks very classy, elegant, and rockable. Now this Lex look, no, 
No, don't wear a gold tone watch with a sterling silver, white gold, stainless. No, don't do. Nobody's ever gonna do this. I'm just put. No. Hell no to the no 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 no. Don't no. Don't make you just making matters go away. Now we got some normalcy. We got a silver chain, silver bracelet, and stainless steel watch different metals, but there is no real contrast in color other than one has a high polish and the other one has like satin center links. Really works beautifully, absolutely easy to wear, sporty, love it. This is a casual look I love. The leather watch band stainless steel with the gold bracelet. No chain necessary. And if you're adventurous and you want to do colorful straps, I think it's a perfect option for a chill vibe. It gives a lot of character, a lot of style, and you can flex a different way on a classier tip. Now, some of us need the gold chain. Does it work with the leather strap watch and the bracelet? Yeah, absolutely. Super dope, very casual. This is just kind of like chill vibes on the block. You know what I'm saying? But I got a little class because I got a watch with the leather strap. Let's go. And finally, my infamous look. Gold chain, gold bracelet, stainless steel watch. Does it work? I think it absolutely works, especially if you can get your hands on a two-tone sports model watch, it would work a little bit better. But for me, this is a perfect daily wear. For shits and giggles, here is the full Soprano look. This is a lot. Just, I mean, yeah, you can do it. It's, it's a lot though. You, yeah. That guy sells drugs. So the purpose of this video was to show you examples of how to wear these pieces in, in some styles that I agree with and I don't agree with. Ultimately, it's your decision. You wear whatever you want to wear. You're spending this kind of money on different pieces of jewelry. Wear it however the fuck you want. But at the end of the day, personally, I think it's all good to wear a stainless steel watch with a gold bracelet. I have done it for years. If you happen to have a two-tone watch stainless steel with yellow gold, I think the contrast and color would blend beautifully. And I always felt it had a beautiful harmony to it, a good synergy between the two contrasts and colors. But then again, the watch community frowns upon two-tone watches. Not many dudes in the watch space want a two-tone watch. Me personally, I love a two-tone watch. I think it's super cool depending on the watch and its aesthetic but I don't disregard it automatically just because it's a two-tone watch. No, no, no. I'm all about a two-tone watch. That's personal preference. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, I think the full gold gamut, which is gold watch, gold bracelet, gold chain, gold rings, I think it's a little bit overdone, but you can also adjust your fit to make it work depending on your particular style. I hope this little video kinda helped out. Doesn't matter, wear whatever you want. As long as you don't wear a gold watch with a silver bracelet, that just looks a little fucking crazy. But that's just my opinion. I'm not the end all be all. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? Who's gonna pass the test? Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.